Uh, hello, this is Piotr and in this video I will show you how you can create flashcards for memorization from PDFs or web articles, it's really the same. So, um, you manage your PDFs here. On this particular page, I already created annotations and one of these annotations uh, has already been converted to two flashcards. You see a question uh, is a text with some part hidden, Supermemo calls it closed deletion, and answer is the hidden text. So let's move um, to the next page and say uh, I want to create a flashcard on this text. I cannot create closed deletion in here directly because the whole page would become a question. Um, so let's create annotation first. I usually open it uh, in a new tab. So you see the text that I highlighted becomes the content of the annotation and here you can see where I took it from and here is the link to the original PDF page. So now I can create some closed deletions. Say I want three questions about this instrument, this instrument and commodities. So I'm highlighting this, clicking occlusion. This is the question, this is the answer. Memorize, refresh the web page. Yeah, that's the one. Next one. and commodities, occlusion, memorize. So, from this paragraph I already created and memorized three flashcards. Um, sometimes I re-edit uh, flashcards created like this by adding hints manually. better. Uh, we don't have to use occlusion, we can select uh, the whole text into question field or answer field. I'll show you it on uh, the whole uh, PDF page. So let me close this one. This is the annotation we were working on. If I close it and scroll down I can see the three flashcards that I just created. They are all memorized. M plus is, is pushed, the button. Okay. So say we want to ask about this abbreviation. So this will become the answer. Here I have to edit the question manually. Uh, we have a flashcard. Uh, I could push the button here, but I'll show you. It's the same as this. So now I memorized it. So you see the highlighted text became the answer and I wrote a um, question myself. 
because I did not select anything for the question, uh, the initial content of the question field was this. So let me show you how I can select something uh, into the question field first. Let me delete this one. It's gone. So now let's put these three letters, not much, but just for the sake of example. I select it here and now I'm doing the same. This, we want this to go into answer. And this is the other field. Other field in this case will be the question. So selection to answer, we have it. And this is the other field with the text we selected before. This is the way I would really do it rather than write a full sentence. Okay. Memorize. Done. To sum it up, to sum it up, uh, we attached the flashcards to the text that became the answer. In the same way, we could attach it to the text that we want to become a question. So let's say we want to ask what UX is. And because the other field is default, we won't have anything. So if we do it like this. It is attached to the question, but we rather have something uh, pre-filled already in the answer. So the usual way. Other field, simply copies it. And now this goes to the question. Yeah, and we have answer pre-filled already. Some editing, save, memorize, refresh the web page. Okay, the flashcard is attached to the text, to the, to the question text. Um, these are so-called first level uh, annotations or flashcards, but this annotation was further processed into uh, second level flashcards. So we can see it in a structure similar to threads in, in discussion forum. This is the original um, annotation and flashcards derived from it. And these are uh, flashcards that we attached directly to the PDF page. Whenever we open something, either like here in a pop-up or in full view, we can always go to selection and see where it is coming from. Either go to the direct immediate parent or to original PDF. So that's it really. Uh, this is how I work with books. Uh, there are few other minor things that you may want to uh, check up like instead of having annotations on the right, you can have um, the content larger and all annotations at the bottom. You don't need to uh, show annotated passages as highlighted. And you can select whose annotations you can see. So I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, whatever you memorize, to drill here and almost uh, try to, uh, to do it almost daily to do repetitions. Because whatever you drill, Bubo Flash will schedule for repetitions. You see, I have 34 repetitions for, for now. So thanks for watching and see you on Bubo Flash.